How's it going, Internet? I'm Wave Punk, and today we're doing Esports Thursdays. Today we're going to be talking about Counter-Strike and uh, some big events that have happened in the Counter-Strike scene. The biggest of which being the announcement of the partnership between Twitch and Faceit and their new league, the ECS, or the Esports Championship Series. Which to me is maybe the dumbest name for an esports league, like the esports championship series. Can you get any more generic than that? Like, are they going to expand it out to more games than just Counter Strike at some point, maybe? And I'm also just kind of done with the whole championship series thing. Like, you have the LCS and the HCS and the RLCS and the BCS and football. Like, it's just, do we need. I don't know, it just sounds snobby, you know, compared to just pro league, like, this is the top level of players, and they play in this league, why, why is it a championship series, I don't know, that's a petty thing. So putting my pet peeves aside, let's talk about what makes the ECS special, because it isn't just another league. Like, when they announced the RLCS, that was a big deal for Rocket League, because it was the biggest prize pool we had ever seen, but it was still just kind of another place for us to play competitive Rocket League. The ECS, though, is actually uniquely different than all the esports championship series that came before it. Because because the ECS is co-owned. Now what does co-owned mean? That means that the teams and the players who play in it actually are a part of the organization itself. Most esports tournaments are hosted by a group and they invite teams to play or teams sign up to play and the teams don't actually have any say in how the tournament functions. They just have to go along with it and if they don't like it, they can leave. But with a co-owned organization like the ECS, the teams and the players and the coaches who are actively involved in performing in this league sit on the committees and councils that make decisions about the league. And this is such a better environment because you have tournament organizers and tournament performers working together to try and create the best events possible. Possible. It also means that players aren't going to get the short end of the stick. The environments for players will be better, the, the payouts will be better, it, everything will be more fair, and you'll have a more even league. This is also a big step forward from what I talked about in the last video about how esports is still like an underground organization. The fact that you have tournament organizers who have money and you have players who want money gets into you get, you get into scenes where there's haggling or players don't get paid in the right way. In a co-owned league, the tournament organizers and the players are both invested and both kind of rise and fall with each other which means that everybody is looking out for everyone and the league is just going to be better so this is a big step forward for esports in that way i'm really happy to see it go the other big thing that happened in counter-strike was their massive tournament that mlg hosted in columbus this past weekend and we saw luminosity taking the win. Luminosity is an organization from Brazil, and this is big news because I'm pretty sure this is the first time a Brazilian team, a South American team, has won a major esports LAN in any game. And the thing I love the most about that is it just shows how big esports is getting. Like, South American esports has kind of been on the fringes of things, but they've never actually been competitive. So to see an organization based out of Brazil take it to the North American powerhouses and the European powerhouses and be able to beat them in a really entertaining fashion, too. It wasn't a boring game at all. Like, the, the, the championship matches, you know, you had an overtime, and then you had, like, a crushing match, and just, like, really well-done games. Just great event overall. Props to MLG for putting it on and for being able to adjust to the massive schedule changes they had throughout the whole thing with all the overtimes that happened. So yeah, it was a great event, big news for South America, great for Counter-Strike, just good stuff like all the way around, right? So that's your Esports Thursday, I don't really have all that much more to say, so I'm not going to make the video longer than it needs to be. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTuber stuff, and uh, I will see you guys later. Bye bye